Hey, what's up everyone? Today I want to show you how to mute your phone using Bixby. Now, if you have a Note 8 or anything that uses Bixby, you know that when you try to mute, not everything mutes at once. So let's open up all our volumes. Okay, and in my opinion, that's a really annoying thing about Android slash Samsung phones is that you can't just shut everything down at once. There's no mute switch like you have on an iPhone. But So let's take a look at that. And you can see all my volumes are up, okay? Hi Bixby, mute. Okay, now you see it's all done. Set all the volumes to minimum. Now, I can see that some people are going to say that that's you know, pretty silly or stupid or annoying because it takes a few seconds to lower all the volumes. But at the same time, you know, it's good to have the option of just being able to say one keyword like mute and you can lower everything. So that's a pretty good feature to have. And I know, you know, there, there is that lag, but, you know, I think eventually that's going to get fixed. And again, let me just say, if you know of a way to, you know, get that command to work better, please, you know, leave me a comment down below in the comment section, email me, whatever. But this is the best way I can get it to work. Um, I did try, you know, setting up to, you know, shut down, say, ringtone first or media first, notifications, things like that system. I tried editing the order and that stuff shut down. Didn't really make a difference. So... Let's take a look at that again. Let's crank up all our volumes. Okay. Let's go home. Hi, Bixby. Mute. And a little bit of lag, but it does shut it down. So, pretty cool feature. And again, I always say, you know, if you're not using Bixby, if you have an S8, an S8 Plus, a Note 8, use Bixby. And keep in mind, too, that there's a promotion going on that if you use Bixby, you are eligible to earn points for Samsung Pay. So, I think that promotion ends in November, or either at the beginning of November or sometime in November, that promotion ends. So, if you're not using Bixby again, use it for those Samsung Pay rewards points. And let me just say you should be using it anyways because it's a really good assistant. Now, I know it's not as good as Google. It's not as good as Siri. But okay, Bixby is learning. Bixby is getting better. Pretty soon, Bixby 2.0 will be out. You know, this assistant has a lot of potential. Plus, think of it this way. Bixby is the only assistant that can actually work with the phone. Like, okay, getting into settings. In this case, muting the volume. That's a pretty cool feature that no other assistant can do. Okay, so let's just get in. I'll show you how I did that. So, swipe over. Let's go into my Bixby. Quick command. Get out of there, Bixby. Let's tap on quick commands. We'll tap on the one I made mute. mute. So what I did was I created the command mute. And the subcommand was set media to minimum, notifications to minimum, ringtone to minimum, system to minimum. Now, like I said, I tried putting these in different orders, you know, hoping that it would, you know, shut down quicker without that little bit of lag, but nothing worked. So that's the best I can get it to do. Okay, so that's it. That's how if you want to set up your phone using Bixby to mute all your volumes at once, that's how you do it. And again, if you can find a way to, if you're, if you're messing around with this and you figure out a better way to do it, please let me know. Because, you know, I don't pretend to be a Bixby expert. You know, a lot of us, we're, we're learning Bixby. You know, as we go along, we're figuring stuff out. We're discovering stuff. Okay, because Bixby is a new assistant. But um, let me say that again. Bixby is a new assistant. So, you know, it's kind of important that we help each other out. You know, that's a pretty cool thing to do because we're all learning together. And again, for me, I think Bixby is really cool to use because, yes, I know like there are things that it's not really great at, like some queries it's not great at, location-based reminders. 
it needs a lot of work in that department. I mean, a whole lot. But then again, I'm going to say it again. It's still learning, and it can do some pretty cool stuff that no other assistant can because it can actually do some stuff with the phone, okay? That's pretty cool. So you should be using it, getting those rewards points too. Okay, thanks for watching. Again, any questions or if you know of a better way to get it to work, comments, email, Twitter, you know, let me know. Thanks for watching, everyone.